Let's encrypt. So we can see uh, I have my website up here now. And in the last video, we added a custom domain name. And my domain name is www.myawesomeapp.com. But we can see in the upper left here that it says that this is not secure. Um, so it says your connection to this site is not secure. So in order to get that to be secure, on most websites, you'll see a little lock in the top left there. Uh, we need to add an SSL or TLS certificate. And we're gonna do that using a service called Let's Encrypt. So I have Let's Encrypt pulled up here in my browser. And Let's Encrypt is a certificate authority that lets anyone obtain, renew, and manage certificates for their site. Now they're a nonprofit and provide all of this for free, and it's easy to get running on our server. So let's go ahead and get started and see how to do this. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to SSH into our server. So if you're coming to this tutorial and haven't seen the previous videos in the series, then it's not a big deal, but you will need SSH access to your server in order to get this running. And that's something that we covered in previous videos. And once we're in our server, we simply need to run a few commands. So in order to find the commands that you need to run for your operating system, you'll simply want to go to the Let's Encrypt website, which we have pulled up here, and then you're going to want to go to the Getting Started page. Now, from here, if we look in the section where it says uh, that we have shell access, they recommend using this CertBot client. So this CertBot client makes it super easy to get these certificates working on our server. So I'm going to click on this CertBot link, and once you click on that CertBot link, now you're just gonna to want to choose the web server and operating system that you're using. So for our Django site, we are using Apache and Ubuntu 18.04. So I'm going to, uh, it says I'm using, and then there's a drop down. I'm going to select Apache, and then it says on, and that's our operating system. Now I'm going to select Ubuntu 18.04. But you are going to want to uh, choose your web server and your operating system. So these are the instructions for Apache on Ubuntu 18.04. So this page here gives you all of the commands that you're gonna to need to run on your server. And they also have a lot of explanation as to what you're doing with these commands if you read through this. Now, I suggest that you read through this page if you'd like to see more information about these commands, but I also have all of these commands pulled up in a text file here on my machine. And I'll have these available on my GitHub as well if anyone would like to follow along and copy these. And also, again, this is for Apache and Ubuntu. So if you're using a different web server or operating system, then you're gonna need to get the commands for your server and your OS. Uh, so I have those commands here. And if I pull up my terminal, I'm also uh, SSH'd into my Django server. Okay, so I'm simply gonna copy these commands into my terminal since I'm a slow typer, and I'll do these one at a time. So these are the commands that CertBot gave me. So I will just paste these in one at a time. So first we have our sudo apt-get update, and I'll have to put in the sudo password. And I will, uh, some of these commands will take a little bit of time. So if there's one that takes too long, I will just uh, skip forward through that. Okay, so now we want to do this sudo apt-get install uh, software properties common. So I'll run through that. Okay, that finished pretty quickly. Uh, sudo apt repository universe. So we are adding a repository here. So I will run through that. Okay, so that one took a little longer to install for me, so I just fast forwarded through that. Uh, if you need to pause until that finishes, then feel free to do that. But I'm just going to uh, fast forward so that we can move on here. So now I'm going to add a, another repository here, and this is a PPA CertBot. So I will run through that. And here on this one, it's asking us to hit enter to continue. So I'll just hit enter to continue there. Okay, and once that is complete, we need to do a sudo apt-get uh, update again. So I will paste that in. Okay, and lastly, uh, here we have this sudo apt-get install uh, Python certbot Apache. So I will clear my screen and run that. And this one will also ask you if you want to continue. So I will just uh, hit enter for the default of yes and let that install. Okay, so once that is finished, we are ready to run the CertBot command. But if you've been following along with these videos, then we actually need to make a change to one of our config files at this point, uh, because we're gonna run into a problem if we don't make a couple of changes. So first of all, let's update our Apache configuration file so that we have our domain name in the server name variable. Uh, so to update that, I can say, let me clear my screen here. I'll say sudo nano, and that is at forward slash etc, forward slash, Apache 2 forward slash uh, sites dash available. 
Uh, sorry that this is going on to another line here. I want this large enough to where you all can read it. Um, and now uh, that is within djangoproject.conf. So I will run that. And actually, just so we can read a little better, let me uh, expand this over our text file there for a second. So now down here, we're going to set this server name uh, to our website. So I'm going to uncomment out that. And then I'm going to put in my domain name, which is my awesomeapp.com. And I'm also going to uh, just bring this down a line here to spread that out a bit. Now there's also one more thing that we're going to change temporarily here in our configuration file. So when we run that certbot command, it's going to try to create an SSL configuration using this existing file. And some of the configurations that we have in this existing file aren't allowed to be duplicated. So we need to temporarily comment out some of these uh, commands and we'll uncomment out those uh, once it creates the new configuration successfully. So the ones that we need to comment out are down here at the bottom, if I scroll down a little bit, these WSGI commands here. So I'm just going to comment these out for now. And now I will uh, hit Control X, uh, Y to save and then hit enter to keep that same file name. Okay, so now I'm going to run the certbot command for Apache, and this will automatically update a lot of our configurations to work with these certificates. So that command, if I look back at the text file here, is sudo certbot Apache. So I'll copy that. Let me clear my screen here. I'll make this large again, and I will paste that in. And now it's going to ask us a couple of questions here. So you can see that it's saying uh, to M input our email address. So I will just put in my email address, uh, Corey M. Schaefer at gmail.com. Now it's asking us to agree to the terms of service here. So I will agree. Uh, lastly, it's asking us if we, it wants us to share our email address. And that is so that it can send you emails about the nonprofit, uh, like let's see their work encrypting the web, EFF news campaigns. I'm going to say no to that one. Uh, that one's not necessary. That's optional. So I'm just going to say no to those emails. And now it's saying, which names would you like to activate HTTPS for? Uh, the only one that it has here is www.myawesomeapp.com. So it says to select the appropriate numbers. Uh, or just hit enter to accept all of these up here. So I'm just going to hit enter to do that one. Okay, so we can see that it did a couple of things up here. So it said that it created an SSL V host uh, within our sites available folder at Django project slash le slash ssl.conf. Um, it also enabled some Apache modules here um, and also uh, made a few more changes as well. So now it's asking us if we would like uh, to redirect or not. So re no redirect uh, means that we could go to HTTP version of our website and HTTPS. If we redirect, it makes all of the requests uh, redirect to secure HTTPS access. Now, I almost always choose redirect. I'm not sure why somebody would allow HTTP access instead of a secure access, uh, but I always want us to be on the secure version of the website. So I'm just going to say to redirect. Um, okay. And then it says, congratulations, uh, your certificate and chain have been saved. It tells you the locations and also it uh, changed our um, configurations. Okay. So now let me clear my screen here and let's uh, cat out the configuration file that we had before. So I'm just going to hit up arrow a couple of times. Now nano is where we change that file, but I'm just going to do a sudo cat on that to display that file in, in, in its entirety. So now if we look at this, uh, so I'm scrolled up at the top here. Let me scroll down to the changes that it made. So you can see that we still have our aliases, still have our directories. We have our commented out section here, but at the very bottom, it put this uh, code here. So it turned the rewrite engine on and it is rewriting our conditional where if the server name is equal to myawesomeapp.com, then it'll rewrite us to the HTTPS version of that. So that's what redirects us to the secure version of our website. So the secure version of our website, I'm going to clear my screen here. Uh, now I'm going to hit the upper arrow one more time. Now, instead of this Django project.conf, remember it created this other configuration file, Django project dash le dash ssl.conf. I'm going to print that out. 
So now if I scroll up here, we can see that it's basically the same, except instead of port 80, it's at port 443. That's the SSL port. Um, if I scroll down here a little bit, it copied all of this stuff here. So we have our aliases, uh, have our directories. We have our commented out uh, WSGI uh, variables there, which we'll have to uncomment it. Uh, but also down here at the bottom, we have our SSL certificates. So we can see that it's linking to our files. So that's the reason that I commented out uh, these WSGI lines here, uh, because if you didn't comment those out and it tried to recreate this new SSL configuration, then you would get an error that says that you're not allowed to duplicate these commands. So now I'm just going to delete those commands from the other configuration and then uncomment out uh, these here in the new configuration. So first, I'm going to clear my screen here. I'm going to uh, do a sudo nano back on our original uh, Django project dot configuration. So I'm going to run that. So this is the one that is on port 80. So I'm going to come in here and I'm simply going to remove a few things uh, from this configuration. So remember, we have all of this information in our new configuration file. So we can delete most of this from our original configuration. So uh, within Nano, you can hit Control K to remove a line. So I'm just going to remove our aliases. I'm going to remove this directory here and I'm going to remove our WSGI commands. Now be careful not to delete the rewrite lines here. We wanna keep those rewrite lines. So basically all we need in our port 80 logic here, uh, we have our server name and all that, that's good. Uh, but really we just wanna rewrite all that traffic from port 80 to HTTPS. So I will save that by hitting Control X, Y to save and then hit enter. And now I'm also going to edit the new configuration file. So that is Django underscore project dash le dash SSL dot conf. So I will edit this file. And in here, I'm going to keep everything that we have right now, but I'm just going to uncomment out our WSGI lines. And I'll go ahead and remove those empty lines there as well. So I will uncomment out these lines here. And that will allow our web server to talk to our Django code. So now I'll save that by hitting Control X, Y to save, and then hit Enter. Okay, so that should get our website working correctly. Now, for most websites, that automatic certbot command is going to run without any issues, but in our case, we had to make those couple of changes. Now, if you have any problems with the automatic certbot command running into any issues, then uh, and you still haven't fixed them with what we did in this video, then I'd recommend going back to their website and looking at the cert only installation and walk through from there. Uh, that will allow you to modify your configuration files manually instead of it changing those automatically for you. But I've always found it easier to let it do most of that stuff automatically like we did here. Okay, so we are just about done, but there are a couple more things that we need to do. Uh, now, one thing I wanna point out is that if you test your Apache config, uh, it might look like it has some issues. So if I say Apache CTL uh, config test and run that, then we can see that it thinks that we have some syntax errors. So it says a syntax error on line 51 uh, with this SSL certificate file, it says that it doesn't exist or that it is empty. But really, that's just a permissions issue. You should run that command using sudo, and you'll find that you don't have any syntax problems. So if I rerun this Apache CTL command uh, config test, but put sudo in front of it, then we are not gonna have uh, that issue. We still get that uh, we have a warning here that says could not reliably, reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name, but that's something that was already there. Uh, don't worry about that for now. Uh, it's nothing that will affect our website in any way. Um, okay, so now that uh, we have all of this working, uh, all we have to do is allow HTTPS traffic to our website, and then it should just work. So if you've been following along with this series, then if you remember, we set up a firewall, and originally we only allowed HTTP traffic. So we can allow HTTPS traffic simply by saying sudo ufw allow HTTPS. So if I run that, that's going to allow HTTPS traffic. Now you can disallow HTTP traffic if you'd like, but since we're redirecting that traffic anyway, I'm just gonna leave it there. So now let's restart our uh, web server for these changes to take effect, and then we will test it out in the browser. So now I'll say sudo service apache2 restart, 
So I'll restart that server. And now let's bring this up in our browser. So I have my browser open here. Now remember, this was the non-secure version of our website. So let me reload this. Okay, and when I reloaded that, we can see that now uh, we have HTTPS instead of HTTP. And also we have a lock here in the top left. So if I click on that lock, it says that our connection is secure. So that is good. That is definitely what you want uh, in a production website. Um, so now let's just test a little bit of functionality. I'm not going to test uh, everything here. So our username was Corey M. Schaefer. Um, actually, I believe that username, oh yeah, that username was actually just Corey MS. So I log in with that Corey MS user that we created, and I believe the password for that. Okay, so we are logged in here, and now just let me try to update a post. So we can see when I go to one of the posts that I've created, we're still on a secure site here. It's still HTTPS. So all of this is HTTPS traffic, and we can do everything that we um, did before. So my latest updated post, I'll just update that, that to be my latest post. So paste that, still on HTTPS secure connection. That's good. I go back, those changes took effect. So it looks like everything is working with our secure connection. Now, one thing about these certificates is that they last for, I think, around 90 days. And after that, they'll need to be renewed. Now, we won't want to do this manually every 90 days. So let's just set this up to where it does it automatically. So let's go back to our web server and let me clear the screen. So first, let's do a dry run of what a renew would look like. So to do a dry run, I can say sudo certbot renew. And that would renew our certificate. But to do a dry run of this, they have a command that is uh, dash dash dry dash run. So I'll run that. Okay, so that just simulated a renewal. It didn't actually renew our certificate, uh, but we can see that the simulated renewal looks good. It says, congratulations, all renewals succeeded. Uh, so now let's create a cron job that will run this renew command every month or so. So like I said, uh, the certificate is good for 90 days, but we can just run the renew command every month or so, and that'll be fine. Now, if you've never run cron jobs before, Basically, it's a way to run commands at certain intervals. Uh, I have a separate video on working with cron in general if you would like to learn more about it in detail, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description section below. Uh, but for now, uh, let's say that we want to edit our cron tab uh, to run this every month. So we're gonna want to edit our cron tab with sudo so that the commands that we add to that will be run as root. So I'll say sudo cron tab dash e and now it's gonna ask us to choose an editor if we haven't selected uh, a default. So I'm just gonna hit one to do nano here since that's what we've been using. And now I will scroll down here and this documentation will help you with cron tab as well if you've never used it. So it'll kind of give you an idea of uh, what all of these placeholders are. Uh, but for ours, let's say that we wanted to run that renew command at 4.30 a.m. on the first of every month. So I will put in a 30 for the minutes, a four for the hour, a one for the day of the month, and then just an asterisk for the month and the day of the week. That means it'll run every month and on any day of the week. Okay, so now the command that we wanna run is sudo uh, certbot uh, renew and also I'm going to tag on a quiet there too. That way it runs in the background. Now you don't wanna do that dry run here because we actually want to renew this every month. Uh, so we don't wanna put the dry run option there. So if this looks good, then we can save this by hitting Control X, uh, Y to save, and then hit enter. Okay, so now you should have that certificate working on your server and that renew command will get run every month uh, so that this is automatically renewed for us. So that's good. Okay, so I think that is going to do it for this video. Uh, hopefully now you feel comfortable setting up SSL encryption and HTTPS for your websites uh, using a service like Let's Encrypt. Now, as usual, there's still a lot that we can do with this website. Uh, I'm still gonna do a video showing you all how to deploy to a service like Heroku. Uh, we'll also see how to use a Postgres database instead of SQLite like we're using now. Um, and also, I prefer to have my website set up so that the www version of a website gets redirected to the non-www 
www version of a website. So for example, www.twitter.com gets rid of the www part and just re redirects you to twitter.com. And I can show you how to do that in a future video as well. Uh, so those will be the next videos that I work on for this series. But if anyone has any questions about what we covered in this video, then feel free to ask in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer those. And if you enjoy these tutorials and would like to support them, then there are several ways you can do that. The easiest way is to simply like the video and give it a thumbs up. And also it's a huge help to share these videos with anyone who you think would find them useful. And if you have the means, you can contribute through Patreon and there's a link to that page in the description section below. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you all for watching.